find the sum of divisors of 544 which are perfect squares so before getting into how to find the divisors which are perfect squares let us first of all prime factorize 544 so 544 looks like an even number so let us divide it by 2 so 2 2 is a 4 2 7 is a 14 2 2 is a 4 again with the 2 so i'll get 1 6 uh, sorry 1 3 is a 6 and 1 6 is a 12 136 again with the 2 then i'll have 6 and 8 68 Again with the 2, so I'll have 34. Again with the 2, then I'll have 17. And finally with the 17 to get a 1. So the prime factorization of 544 will be 2 to the power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2 to the power 5 times 17. Now if you want to know what will be the sum of all the sum of all the divisors sum of all the divisors or factors of 544 so this will be equal to 2 to the power 0 plus 2 to the power 1 plus 2 square plus 2 cube plus 2 to the power 4 plus 2 to the power 5 this thing multiplied by 17 to the power 0 plus 17 to the power 1 now this result will give me sum of all the divisors of 544 but we want the sum of only those divisors which are perfect squares now what do we mean by perfect squares let's say let's say i have a number let's say let's say 16 now 16 is a perfect square because 4 square is 16 now if i'll prime factorize 16 i'll have 2 times 2 sorry 2 square times 2 square this will give me 16 and let's take another example let's take we talk about 36 so 36 is 6 times 6 which is actually equal to 2 square times 3 square so one pattern that we can see here that all the prime numbers from which this number is made up of are present in even quantities for example look here here we have 2 to the power of 4 it means 2 is present in even number 4 even in case of 36 we have two twos and two threes both are present in even numbers both the prime factors hence these are perfect squares so if we'll talk about the divisors of 544 if they are perfect squares their prime factorization should have even number of prime factors now all the prime factors are already written here but the main point is whatever terms that we'll get after expanding this expression each term should always have an even power of the prime factors present in that term for example let us multiply this actually so this becomes let us start with 2 to the power 0 so this becomes 2 to the power 0 times 17 to the power 0 plus 2 to the power 0 times 17 to the power 1 if i'll multiply this with this expression let's take 2 to the power 1 so now i'll have 2 to the power 1 times 17 to the power 0 plus 2 to the power 1 times 17 to the power 1 when I'll multiply this with the given expression and similarly if I'll take 2 square so I have 2 square times 17 to the power 0 plus 2 square times 17 to the power 1 and this will go on from second uh, from I can continue this using this this and again this but the point of concern is this term present here is one of the factors of 544 this represents another factor of 544 similarly each term will represent one factor of 544 but we are looking for the factors which are perfect squares which means that the prime factors that are present here should be in even numbers their power should be even now let's see the first one here it is just one one times one which is one and one is actually a perfect square because square root of one is one so this will be considered but can this be considered no because it has just 117 when i will take a square root of this term i won't get a a whole number this will be some irrational number so i cannot consider this similarly i cannot consider this because this is one and this is just two to the power one so even this won't be considered even this won't be considered even but yeah but if we'll talk about this two square times 17 to the power zero can this be considered yes it will be because 2 is present in even quantity 2 square and 17 to the power 0 is actually 1 so if by any means if we can remove all those terms which has prime factors present in odd quantities then we can get the perfect square 
factors of 544. So in order to do that, what we can do, let us remove all the factors that are written here, all the terms written here, which have odd powers. For example, 2 to the power 5, I'll remove this. 2 to the power 3, I'll remove this. 2 to the power 1, I'll remove this. 17 to the power 1, I'll remove this. And 17 to the power 0 is actually just 1, so it doesn't matter. So finally, I'll have here 2 to the power 0 plus 2 square plus 2 to the power 4 times 17 to the power 0. Now, whatever terms I'll get here, when I'll multiply them, some of all those terms will be the perfect square factors of 544. You can actually multiply and see 2 to the power 0 times 17 to the power 0 plus 2 to the power 2 times 17 to the power 0 plus 2 to the power 4 times 17 to the power 0. Some of these three factors will give me the required answer for the question that, are, that is asked. So the value will be equal to 2 to the power 0 is 1 times 1 plus 2 square is 4 plus 2 to the power 4 is 16 times 17 to the power 0, that is 1. Now, this value is equal to 16 plus 4 is 20, 20 plus 1 is 21. So, so the sum of all the factors that are perfect square will be equal to 21.